Good morning, dear friends. Oh, yes, what a joy it is for me to be with you for the next few minutes as we together meditate on God's word before we begin the day with all our activities. Well, God has given us another new day. And now what is ahead of this day, we don't know. But don't be afraid. He knows. Just give yourself to his leadership. And today's meditation is taken from the Gospel according to St. Matthew chapter, chapter 13. Uh, the text actually is from verse 54 to 57. Well, I'm not going to read it. But uh, you know uh, how Jesus was rejected by his own people in his own town. So Jesus was rejected by his hometown people because... Number one, they did not understand the source of his wisdom and his power which was displayed in his works. Now Jesus lacked, they thought, he lacked proper credential and education. He did not have a degree. Yet the people recognized his unusual wisdom and saw his extraordinary power at works in all his miracles and other things he did. But they understood neither. His wisdom and his, uh, his, his power to do extraordinary things. And would not acknowledge that uh, he came from God. They refuse to acknowledge that, though they have seen enough evidence that he is above this earthly. How hard their hearts were. And um, Jesus also was from a very humble beginning. Just an average hard-working family. His father, Joseph, was a carpenter. And his mother was just a housewife from a very poor background. His father, Joseph, and his mother achieved no special prominence in their society. Neither any of the children risen above anyone else in Nazareth. So the, they questioned, how could he be what he claimed to be, the Messiah? And secondly, they rejected Jesus because people were offended by him, stumbled over him, Jesus was from their own house. They knew him from his childhood. How could he be the Messiah? Born in their own country. And lived among them. Ate and drank with them. Worked and slept among them. Played and laughed with them. Such a person had no right to make such tall claims. That was their conclusion. What can we learn from this attitude? Number one, most people deny a God beyond themselves. I want you to understand my statements. First of all, men do not want a God beyond themselves. Because they don't want a God too close to them. If God is close, right here, then man has to submit himself to him and obey him. 
and man is unwilling to um, get rid of and or give up his right to himself. Not even God. At the same time, he needs a God. He realizes it. Because man is, my friends, created in such a way that he cannot live a normal life without a relationship and a knowledge of this God, the Creator. That's the way man is created. And that's why, though mankind in the world today are reject, is rejecting Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who is the Savior and Lord and the Creator, they reject Him. And nevertheless, they know they need a God. And that is why uh, they, 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 they are after, uh, seeking God. A man is, is, uh, is, is at the same time unwilling to give up his right to himself. Therefore, he creates a God. What kind of a God? A mental God. Far removed and away and remains unknown. Who will have very little control over man. Man, secondly, man does not want a God who reveals himself. A revealed God has to be served and to be obeyed. Man simply wants a God out there somewhere. A God beyond. He wants a God far enough away that he has to work out what God is like and God's laws. And a man is able to make up and imagine God to be as he wishes. He wants such a God. Of his own making. It was not God's. I don't know. What was, what was troubling Job? His trouble was not the absence of God. But it was the presence of God. God was too close. For comfort. Job never expressed a doubt. About God. Or his existence. Or his uh, uh, sovereignty. The issue was. Not only God was too close. But his character. What kind of God is this? Who treats his faithful uh, servant. Uh, his faithful friend. Like an enemy. That was Job's problem. Because he did not understand what was going on in the spiritual higher realm. There was a battle going on between God and the devil for the soul of Job. This he did not know. And at the end when God came and began to speak, oh, what a revelation it gave to Job. And my friends, Always remember, for us it is not a difficult thing to recognize the true God who revealed himself by sending his own uh, precious son, Jesus Christ. And when we acknowledge him and receive him as Lord and Savior of our lives, we are changed. And this is the marvel that the Israelites and the Jewish people missed when Jesus came. He came to his own, but his own did not recognize him, therefore did not receive him. There is a problem with mankind. Anything that he does not understand, anything that he cannot uh, uh, cannot fully uh, grasp 
and anything that he cannot control, he rejects. Whether it is the right thing or not. And that's what happened. In the Gospel according to St. John chapter 6, you read this. You know, they experience the miracle of Jesus feeding the 5,000. And then seeing that miracle of a feeding, and they all ate and satisfied, suddenly Jesus along with his disciples left that place. But the crowd started hunting for him. Where is he? Where is he? They all wanted to make him king. So he disappeared. But they did not stop hunting for him. They searched and found him on the other side. And they came. Oh, Master, where were you? We were looking for you. And Jesus knew their intention. They were not looking for him for what he is. He, and he was. They were looking for him because they were satisfied in their stomach. For the food. And then Jesus gave a discourse to them. And what he explained to them, what he was, that he was the true manna, true bread that came from heaven. And when, when Jesus said, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no part in the kingdom of God. And when Jesus began to explain these truths, about himself to them. At the end the crowd said, Oh my, this is a hard saying. Who can understand it? And the Bible says there, they all left him. Why? Simply because they did not understand. So anything that people don't understand, outright rejection. That is foolishness, my friends. There are many things you will never understand in this life. And there is, God has a right to reserve certain mysteries about himself. That's why he is God. And don't try to understand God perfectly. But it is enough for you to know that this God loved you enough that he sent his son Jesus Christ in this world, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Take it. Here is a God who revealed himself. You acknowledge him, accept him, surrender to him, and obey him, serve him, and get ready to spend eternity with him. God bless you as you continue to seek him. Don't wait until you perfectly understand everything. You will never. But once you obey, you begin to understand. God bless you today and may the Holy Spirit help you to do the right thing of acknowledging Christ as Lord and Savior and surrender to him. May the Lord bless you. Have a wonderful good day. I pray for God's grace and mercy to be multiplied in your life. Amen.